all right guys working on a GE side by side there's my model number I got a defrost complaint I want to go over um, this defrost circuit with you so I traced it out for you L1 and neutral but basically coming off the board at the J2 uh, connector the blue wire uh, I represented it in red but as you see it comes off the board and the first stop is um, the defrost heater <clears throat> Uh, second, after it, 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 it goes through the defrost heater, as it gets out of neutral, it passes through uh, the defrost thermostat. Okay? After it gets out of the defrost, after, you know, it, it, it drops all of the voltage at the defrost thermostat and it returns to neutral with zero volts, I know that I can check that from the board. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm also going to do a little bypass and show you that too. So here's the unit. This is a voiceover that I'm doing. I'm not in the customer's home. So again, I know I have the defrost. I already pulled the unit out, right? Got my steamer all prepared. I want to show you guys how I came to that conclusion. As you see here in the back, let me turn on my light. You see there in the back, you see all that snow and that rime mice. Yep, that's my problem. So I'm going to show you guys from the board how to do a little bypass and use line one and go right to your defrost circuit. So at the back of the board here, the J2 connector, I'm going to show you guys. I basically jumped the brown and the blue uh, wire. And what that's going to do is right from line, it's going to shoot 120 volts to that circuit, whether the board is in defrost or not. Again, do not attempt this repair if you're not, you know, confident and you're not working on this exact model number. This is just a little training guide for this particular unit. OK, so now that now that we did all of that, I'm going to show you guys go to the rear. Uh, no. Yeah. Tape your door and make sure you turn off the, the lights in the customer's home so you can see the defrost heater turn orange there you go so you see it now it's all heating up okay again let's just verify the circuit we're gonna go on ohms once we're at ohms what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from that j2 blue wire to the j7 neutral orange okay there's my j2 i removed the the, the jumper at this point but there's my J2 uh, blue to my J7 orange, which is my neutral. Okay, if my circuit is good, my default circuit, my heater element and my thermostat, it will reflect by giving me ohms. If it, if it read open, then I knew either my heater element or my default thermostat was my problem. Okay, as you see there, line and defrost. I basically just did a shunt from line to defrost, okay? Let's plug it all back. But once you do the bypass, you can see how you can use the heater element and your steamer to do it quicker. There you have it, folks. Another episode of PMM Tech Talk.